welcome to my channel today we want to look at how to create clickable table of contents for ebooks if you've not watched my previous video i would suggest you go and watch it on tips to create click um to create ebooks with your smartphone although i will drop the link to that video at the end of this particular video in the description tab so now we want to look at how to create clickable table of contents for ebooks especially for amazon amazon if you up, down, uh, upload manuscript for to publish your ebook amazon usually requests that you create clickable table of contents they will check through and if you don't have clickable table of contents you'll be advised to go and create one this clickable table of contents helps the readers the viewers to access or easily access any chapter of your book at any time so easily they will just tap on it on any chapter they want and it will take them directly to the page so we'll create this using google docs if you don't have google docs i'll suggest you go and download it from the app store just type google docs and download it so look at i have my doc, google docs already installed on my phone docs i'll tap on it to open good so let's use one of these manuscript or excerpts of of a book we'll use this one let me change the background color to white okay so you can see we already have table of contents you have see on this page i wrote table of contents and if you browse through see chapter one chapter two chapter three down to i think i have up to chapter 10 here remember we are just using this for illustration it doesn't mean the chapters will be this short you can just write anything you want based on your desire once you are done you create a page the for table of contents so this is where we'll place this page now is where we'll place our clickable table of contents now we'll tap on this chapter one see let me zoom in chapter one see it just tap on it so that i can place your cursor there okay let me enable my edit icon Mm -hmm. so just place your cursor on that table of content then you go up and tap on a a with four strokes see this a that has four strokes by the side just tap on it can you see style the style this this table of contents sorry let's go to chapter one rather chapter one tap on your chapter one place your cursor on that chapter one because it is these chapters now that we want to put under the table of contents so just place your cursor there then tap on this a asterisk um, a that has four strokes by the side then you see style this chapter one is written with just normal text so i want to change it now so that it will be like the highlight of the page change it see normal text titles of we change it to heading one 
see it has changed. Heading one. That's our chapter one. Come back again. Uh, come down to chapter two. You do the same thing. Tap on this A with four lines by the side. Then tap on style. Then heading one. Come down again. To the next chapter. A with four lines. Tap on style. Heading one. Come down again to the next chapter. Tap on the A. Normal text. Heading one. Okay. Come down again to chapter five. Ensure that the cursor is right on the particular chapter you want to change. A. Tap on that A, then style, then heading one. Come down again. Chapter six. Do the same thing. Tap on A. Normal text. You change it from that normal text to heading one. That's chapter six. You do for as much as the chapters you have in your book, even if it's up to 50. You just have to. You can even do it when you are typing. When you are typing your book, you can just do it. Just place it like that. Place all the chapters so that you can, when you are done, you can easily use it to form your clickable table of content. So this is chapter 7. Tap on your A. Style, go down to heading one. Then, a, uh, chapter eight, do the same thing. A, style, heading one. Let me see. Okay, we have chapter nine here. Chapter nine, come down and uh, tap on that A, then style. Heading one. Then chapter ten. Tap tap again on the A style. Heading one. I think that's all we have for this particular excerpt. That's all we have. Even if you have up to hundred chapters, just do them. Even as you are typing, you can just make that heading one for each of the chapters while typing so that it's very easy for you so we are done giving them that heading one um fonts so come down come back to the table of content page place your cursor on the area or the place where you want your clickable table of contents to be so now i've placed my cursor there you can see then come to the top here you see this plus sign just tap on it insert link tap on link see text link headings tap on headings see all you did has already appeared here they already appeared here so tap on the first one, chapter one. Then you tick. Tick that that blue tick at the top right. Just tap on it. You see? You can see the thing is showing really like a link in blue font. See it? So come down again where you place the second one. Tap on that plus sign up. Tap on link. Headings. Chapter 2, tap on the tick, blue tick, come down again, do the same thing, link, heading, chapter 3, tap on the tick, see everything is appearing right on the spot you want it, you can equally place your pages or page numbers, I'm just doing this for 
the purpose of this clickable table of contents tap on headings chapter 4 and there you are you tap again on your plus sign your insert uh, icon go to link headings chapter 5 then tick come down again like that until you are true come down again plus or your insert icon link headings chapter 6 then you tap on the blue tick come down again tap on that insert icon again link headings chapter 7 just keep doing it like that tap on your insert icon the plus sign again link chapter 8 tick oh. tap again plus just keep doing till you get to the last chapter 9 tick then chapter 10 insert link headings chapter 10 tick cool i think that's all i have for this particular work but i feel like i should just centralize i should centralize them i don't know you can place it anyhow anywhere you want either center left right you can also put your page number if you want so our clickable table of content is ready see how, it, how easy it is as i even tapped on that chapter 10 see how it took me straight to the page tap on you just tap on any of them to take you straight to the page where that chapter is so this is what we call clickable table of contents you can just tap on it and it takes you to any page please if this video was helpful you can leave a comment like the video and subscribe now i'm trying to centralize all of these chapters I want, to, I want them to be at the center. So, any one you want. You want to put your page, your page numbers. You can put them now by the left, by the left side. If you also want to write out the, the heading directly for each of these chapters, you can also write it. Like under this chapter 1 now. Let us see what is in chapter or chapter 1. Okay, there was no, there is no heading in this particular excerpt. So let's just see. Chapter one has pros and cons of pros and cons of of the internet i'm just improvising anything no. <laughs> pros and cons of the internet that's for chapter one anyhow you want to even place this thing you want to you want it to be like this can you just... mm. then you take your second one like that the second chapter then you write your whatever Anyhow you want to do, you just make it nice. But this is what we call clickable table of content. It's very simple to do with your phone. But if you are using your laptop, it's very, very simple as well. It's simple. Just use your Microsoft Word. 
to form your clickable table of content so this one is just doing it with google docs with your smartphone so now let's let's tap on chapter five okay let me disable my edit icon all right see that's taking me to chapter five i'll go back again tap on chapter 10 take me straight to chapter 10 i want to go to chapter 6 take me straight just tap on any of the chapters i need to take you there so this is what this is the, the nice experience amazon wants the readers to benefit when they buy your book on amazon kdp they will just tap your the please note that this is this in particular is for ebooks ebook manuscripts if you want to create ebook on amazon kdp they just tap and it takes them to any page they want or the chapter they want so if this video was helpful please like and subscribe to my channel you can also share the videos the next video i'll do is uh, i'll show how to create ebook cover using canva so watch out for that video and that's why it's good for you to subscribe so that once i drop the video you get the notification Thank you for watching. Please don't fail to like, subscribe, and share these videos. Thank you.